For this road trip, I hope you wore your stretchy eating pants. Why is that? I think this is going to be more like a Florida food tour. Watch and find out. Hey everybody, Rick and Nikki here, and today's road trip takes us to Plant City for the Florida Strawberry Festival. Let's go inside and check it out. For adults, tickets are $10. Children 6 to 12, they're only $5. As soon as you walk through the gates, an information center, grab a map. Once you start getting close to the festival grounds, you'll start to see a lot of places offering parking between like $5 and $10. I just picked one. Whatever one I found first, paid 10 bucks, parked and walked over here to the festival grounds. I was smart, I think. I came hungry. <laughs> so the first thing I wanna do, there's supposed to be a place where you can self-service, make your own strawberry shortcake. Ooh, let's go find that place. Okay. Right by the lost and found caboose is the main hall. We need to go in here, find the St. Clement Catholic Church, make your own strawberry shortcake booth. Let's see if we can do it. We found the place we're looking for. By the way, it is $5 and cash only. So you get your choice of biscuit or shortcake. We went with one of each. I'll start scooping there, baby. All right, scoop for me as well, I guess. Okay, put it over the thing. Nice, that's good. Good healthy amount, good job. Oh, the whipped cream. I'll take a big dollop of that as well. Oh. There we go. Thank you. Awesome. For me. And a strawberry on top, not a cherry. My wife didn't get the sticker. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, honey, you did a good job making your own and mine strawberry shortcake. Uh, you did not do a good job of getting a sticker. I got a sticker. See that? You got the sticker. Yeah. <laughs> need your own sticker. <laughs> Let's try these out though. Yeah, I'm excited. Yummy. <laughs> There's Nikki's. Is that the shortcake or the uh, the biscuit? Do you remember? I think I got the shortcake. All right. And here is mine. I think mine has the biscuit, but we're going to share anyway. We'll share. For some reason, I really been into biscuits for strawberry shortcake instead of the cake. I don't know why. Well, that worked out pretty well as I preferred the, uh, the biscuit, we shared, we tried both. Right. I preferred the biscuit and you liked the cake. I did, so, hey, it's a win-win. But when we started, you thought you were gonna want the biscuit. I did. Huh, how about that? Both are great, I tried some of yours. I like them both. As we were eating our strawberry shortcake, Nikki said to me, you know, I can't have sweets all day. I don't think we're gonna have a problem finding anything savory for her. There's plenty of food, not just strawberries, there's rides, we'll take a look at those, and concerts. Do you know who's playing tonight, Nikki? Is it the Chicks? No, well, actually they're here during the day. Okay. Tonight is Sammy Hagar, not too shabby. Yeah, now concert tickets range from what I could see around 25 to $40, depending on the concert that you're attending. Right, because those are extra. Yes. It's not free concerts with admission. Right. Now when it comes to the rides, it's sort of divided into two sections. There's kind of a, a kitty ride section for the younger ones, and then bigger, more thrilling rides on the other side of the festival grounds. Here is the ticket booth for the rides. One single ticket is $1, a sheet of 20, $20. That's kind of nice even math there, isn't it? <laughs> Makes sense. And they do have different specials. Today's special, you get a $30 armband for $25 if you bring in like an empty Coke bottle or can. So it's kind of Coca-Cola day almost. To be honest though, I came here more for the food than for the rides. Yeah, for sure. Now I'm used to like million dollar rides, multi-million dollar rides at Universal and Disney. Oh my gosh. Though, you know, I might take my chance on one of these as well. And of course, they have your classic Midway games here as well. A pretty good sized crowd waiting for the cliffhanger here. Sort of fly around like Superman in a circle a little bit. Four tickets to ride this, so essentially $4 for the cliffhanger. After being here for a while, you know what movie I'm in the mood to watch tonight? Adventureland? Adventureland. I knew it, I knew it. 
you guys go check it out too after this video. A lot of unique rides at fairs. When was the last time we were at a fair, honey? I think when the kids were little, like really, really little, and then we really hadn't been back. So probably 15 years. Oh, at least, yeah. Look at this one here. This could be my starter ride to get me ready for Starflyer on International Drive. I wonder if there's a weight limit though. Well, that's the thing at the fair, it's always like that. I always got sick at the fair when I went as a teenager because yeah. there's limited amount of space. For sure. So, like, the spinning rides take up less space. Everything spins, though. Oh, no, I can't do it. I checked on this one here, the yo-yo, whatever it's called. Okay. Um, there is no weight limit. I could try it if I wanted to. Uh, I would get sick, I think, too. Yeah. Now for me, most of the times I went to the fair was as a high schooler. You know the ride that made me the most sick? No idea. Do you have one that made you sick? Um, the zipper, I think. Okay. I think that was like my most dangerous ride I went on was the zipper. The zipper. Mine yeah. was, do you remember this? The Gravitron? Sort of. Oh, and, and like, where it spins. Yeah, it spins then, it around, you're stuck against the wall. Oh, I love that ride. That's uh, a good ride. Oh, that made me so sick. <laughs> oh no. Now let's make our way back to some food. Let's go savory and strawberry. s, &S. My baby says she wants a corn dog. She's gonna get a corn dog from the prettiest corn dog stand I can find. Before I could pull the camera out, Sherry started on that corn dog. She says it's awesome. They have two condiments for it, ketchup and mustard. Why on earth would they have ketchup for it? In case you couldn't tell, I disapprove of ketchup on any type of dog, corn or otherwise. How'd you like that dog? Best dang corn dog I've ever had, to be quite honest. It was so crispy, it was perfect. You know why, right? Why? It was freshly fried. Yeah, it was amazing. Fair corn dogs are always better, honey. I'm gonna try the Piggy Palace Barbecue. Get, uh, get some pulled pork sliders, I think. $10 for my two sliders and some baked beans. All done with my barbecue sliders. Not a bad little slider. Uh, that place only does catering. I asked if there was a local place or if they had a food truck. They said no, just catering. But my favorite part of my meal, the beans. The beans taste like my mom's, the kind she would take uh, like to church dinners. So church beans, they were really good. But now that Nikki's had her corn dog, which I think won the day between the two of us. Yeah. And I had my sliders. We have to find something sweet now. For sure, we gotta get something with strawberries. I mean, come on. Maybe a strawberry shake, strawberry daiquiri. Something cold. Strawberry smoothie. Judging by the line, which starts way down there, I think Nikki missed the best corn dogs. Buttermilk corn dogs. Look at that line, Smitty's. How can it not be good? It's called Smitty's. <laughs> you see, this is our first time here. We didn't know about Smitty's. No, we didn't, but everybody else seems to know about it. So now you know when you come. Smitty's. Now your cart, your little food like uh, tent or whatever, it was pretty. It was. But we didn't know about Smitty's. Well, I liked my corn dog, so I'm, yeah. I'm content for now. There you go, either way. You don't want to wait in line. That's Minnie's line. It was long. It was long. It was long. But hers was short. And the best corn dog she's had in her life. Yeah, it was amazing. It was it, the crispiness. It was just amazing. Well, maybe maybe next year we come back. We try Smitty's. Smitty's corn dog. How could it not be good? And this is the stadium, the grandstands, where the concerts will be held. Like I said tonight is Sammy Hagar. Some other musical acts include the Beach Boys, Boys to Men. The Letterman, John Anderson. Fun fact, John Anderson and I went to the same high school. Uh, he was years before me, but we went to the same high school. Also, the Oak Ridge Boys. They got some pretty good names, some pretty good names on this uh, concert list. Nelly, Sam Hunt, the Bellamy Brothers, Chicks with Hits, Home Fries. Pretty cool stuff. Some of you may not know John Anderson and his biggest hit. Do you know his biggest hit, Nikki? No. Swangin'. Strawberry kettle corn? I think Nikki's found something for us to take home. Inside of the North Exhibit Hall, 
Let's see if we can find anything interesting. What is this? Croaking. Frogs croaking. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Nikki, we've been together over 30 years. I think I know everything about you. But then you bust out some new knowledge. What did you just tell me in there? So, I love strawberries, mm -hmm. but I don't like strawberry candy. You pointed out, like, saltwater taffy over there. The world's best saltwater taffy. And honestly, I don't like strawberry candy. Is that weird? But you like strawberries. Yeah, I mean, like, even like Starburst and anything, I always give you the strawberry. Isn't you, that weird? You asked if it's weird? I will yeah. tell you, that is weird. This is the place for my sweet treat. I'm gonna get a strawberry shake. I leveled up my shake. I went with the way better strawberry shake for $18. Let's try out this sucker. Strawberry icing, fruity pebbles, strawberry shortcake, strawberries, whipped cream, and rainbow sprinkles. Oh. So what you got there, Rick? The way better strawberry milkshake. Yeah, it's their signature shake for the festival. Mm. Is it good? You tried it so far. What do you think? The strawberry, like the milkshake itself, is so good. I haven't tried little toppings yet, though. So throughout the area, they have these foot massager machines. They should put these in the theme parks. What do you think, Nikki? Universal Disney have the foot massagers? Oh, for sure. That'd be like the best seat in the house, right? Well, here they're only 25 cents. I have a feeling in the theme parks might be a little more pricey. Five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Self a Berry Fest t-shirt. They run from like, uh, I don't know, around 20 bucks or so. This strawberry festival has been going on since 1930, but not continuously. Yeah. Right, it took about a six year hiatus during World War II, mm -hmm. but right now it is one of the top fairs, top 40 fairs within North America. Judging by the long line, another popular stand, this strawberry daiquiri stand. Lots of farm equipment on display here at the festival. Earlier in the day, there was some bad boy lawn equipment and some guys were walking by got all excited for it. Yeah, I mean like teenagers. I swear, they, teenagers, early <laughs> 20s, I don't know, it was hilarious. I've never heard of bad boy lawn equipment, but apparently it's a big deal. It's a thing. Look at here, we have a strawberry patch. Fun fact, Nikki and I actually grew our own strawberries one year. Yeah, we had a little strawberry patch in the backyard, didn't we? For sure. You have to make that little berm and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually did a really good job growing strawberries. We did, and also cucumbers. Mm -hmm. We do have a green thumb. Of course they have a strawberry ride. What's it called? The Berry Go Round. This place is like Universal and Disney rolled into one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We have the Raptor Run, AKA Velociraptor here. This is Dumbo. We all know the Dumbo ride, don't we? Raptor Run, Dumbo, Dumbo, Velocicoaster, Raptor Run, Dumbo, Dumbo, Velocicoaster. Getting ready to head out, but before that, Nikki really does want a t-shirt. And this is the one Nikki's gonna get, the 87th Annual Strawberry Festival 2022. In addition to musical performances, they have a little circus here as well. How about that? Okay, now that we have that t-shirt in hand, let's go get like a pint or a quart of strawberries and that strawberry cutter corn for you and head out. That's a good but, idea. But that's our little look here at the Florida Strawberry Festival. And as always, adventure is out there. Go find it on a road trip. <laughs>